a uh, manual transmission gold wing. I love it. <laughs> I love it. When I want a golf cart, I'll buy one. Have some fun. Take it down the road right here. Yeah, I don't have to worry about shifting. I'm in second. I gotta just power through these turns. Even the Golden in sport mode doesn't feel like this. It would have you in fifth or sixth gear just to do 40 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour. Okay, it's going. I'm here with our wonderful Teresa, and obviously Teresa and Piper are the stars of the channel, but I still try my best, but uh, we wanted to come outside today because um, even before we bought the Goldwing, people complained about the paint finish. I'm like, what are you guys talking about? Because uh, it's got BASF Nanotech paint, and I don't know, honey, if you want to like uh, zoom in close on some of the paint here and show people what this looks like in the sun. It really is nice. And maybe up here too, this is a good angle. Because this shows you a good shade shot right here. We got some tree canopy above us and look at how beautiful that is. All right. Very good, so I would um, definitely, the, the, the Honda's got a better paint finish than the Triumph Rocket 3 GT. Uh, the paint finish on the Rocket 3 GT is acceptable, but this is superior. Uh, the next thing I'd like to talk about is um, what bike would I rather work on? What bike would be easier to work on? And I'm going to pick the Rocket 3 GT. This bike is just a sea of plastic panels. And to do simple things, you got to take the whole bike apart, right? And I feel um, you can do it. It just takes longer. It takes a lot of patience. There's plastic clips. And I think that's where the concern comes from people complaining about fit and finish, right? Uh, they take their bikes apart and when you put these plastic pieces back together, they may not go back together perfectly. But for the record, our perspective is that nothing's built better than a Honda and I'm sticking to it. Uh, Triumph quality's come a long way. Um, I give the uh, Triumph Rocket maybe an 86% quality score since we've owned it. I still give this one 95% above. So just knowing that um, you buy a Honda product, you're gonna get high quality, right? So I give the edge for working on the bike yourself to the Rocket, and I give the quality edge back to the uh, Honda Goldwing. I just haven't seen any other manufacturer come close to Honda levels of quality. None of them, so. Uh, and if you're gonna work on your bike and take it apart, um, you know, just be cognizant that they're plastic pieces and uh, I myself, having worked with uh, engineering development teams in my past lives, will tell you that you know uh, motorcycles take different stresses than cars, so these plastic panels will flex a bit, right? It's a motorcycle, so um, this is still the number one quality motorcycle made. Uh, the next thing I can talk about is that this bike is superior for GoPro. If you have somebody with you, like Teresa was on the ride here, or if you're taking camera equipment with you. And Teresa's got one of our cameras, our Canon. But if you look here, just everything lays flat right here. It's, it's wonderful. And here, if you come here, we have our tripod right here. Perfect fit with a lot of room to spare. So we're not using the tripod right now, but this is just really nice. Um, very nice. So if it was just me and I was going to be stationary like this, or if you were going to be stationary for your, your YouTube channel, this bike's the hookup. So the Rocket's got soft luggage that does lock the Triumph soft luggage, but it's the shape of that luggage is not conducive to the tripod fitting cleanly, but you can carry stuff on the Rocket too, but I just prefer this. So for action scenes though, uh, the twisty two-lane road stuff, um, that visceral sound, I would pick the Rocket over the Honda. Even though you can put this bike in sport mode, but uh, this bike is more about a nice day out on a bike with your better half and um, uh, 
you know, total comfort as much as you can get on a motorcycle. Uh, the, the next thing I'd like to talk about is what bike is easier to wash. And uh, uh, I'll give it to the Rocket too. If you come around here, honey, you'll just see if all this got dirty, what a pain in the arse it would be to get up in there with, with rags or whatever to clean. And getting to that rear wheel down there to clean that too is kind of fun. Uh, you want to be careful with these plastic sur surfaces not to scratch them. Rocket doesn't have that problem. It's got an exposed rear wheel and it's easier to keep clean. Uh, the Rocket though, you do have to wipe it down literally after every ride. Uh, for some reason, if you don't, surfaces may pit on the Rocket. I don't think the Honda has that problem. So, um, uh, that's what we wanted to talk about. Uh, the biggest intent of this was to talk Teresa into hanging out with me on a motorcycle for an hour and just for you guys to see this paint finish in the sun right you walk into a showroom you know uh, you may not um, get that full effect but when you pull a bike out in the sun that is a beautiful paint finish right and I challenge anybody uh, I, I think too uh, the nanotech paint technology was developed specifically for Honda in this application so uh, it was probably they were probably very uh, exacting requirements so um, uh, that's what we've got now on the gold wing for this portion of the video we'll come back and do the rocket portion next and uh, give you the pros and cons type of thing right uh, two up riding this is the best bike you can get it's all I would get for solo riding uh, it's the rocket and you'll save money with the rocket over the gold wing both bikes are loaded with tech but we're going to come back with uh, the rocket portion and then we'll wrap everything up put a bow on it and bring it all together for everyone thanks for watching this portion we're going to burn down the road and grab the rocket now all right let's do the rocket 3 gt portion now in a bit more detail so uh hey we're here we're gonna rock it so let's get into it so uh as you can see here Still a really nice paint finish, right? But, you know, not as nice as the Goldwing. Again, this is more than acceptable compared to so many other mo motorcycles on the market. I'll go up here, right? It's still a great shine. Let me walk around this way. Right there you can see. So it, it's nice, but again, you know, when you park both the... Uh, Rocket and Goldwing next to each other, you'll see that the uh, Goldwing just has a deeper, nicer shine. Uh, it's notable. Don't know if the camera does it justice, right? Okay. So, um, another thing here, as with most traditional motorcycles, um, the Rocket wins here too, right? This is just great to hang your helmet. Uh, we're not ones to worry about people stealing our helmets. Uh, we don't know anyone who messes with bikers so there you go there and uh, you can see here too I talked about how easy it is to wash and clean the rocket everything's pretty open on this right again I want everyone to know do not take high pressure washers to your motorcycles I don't care what brand you you own it can really destroy the electronics on a bike especially newer bikes and uh, I saw down in Daytona that people were paying $50 to $100 for high pressure washes from people that sit up on the side of the road. And uh, some really expensive bikes were getting pressure washed. And do it by hand with a garden hose and some nice good car wash, right? So um, you can see how open the rocket is too. I had said the rocket wins on uh, being able to easily work on things, right? Everything's there, you know? You can just see everything. Uh, the keyhole here, your seat comes right off. Here's our vaunted uh, Tour Master pack uh, that we bought from Revzilla that just creates the most comfortable back seat rest and gives us so much more storage opportunity. So, hanging helmets, the Rocket wins. Uh, if I had to pick between doing the maintenance on both bikes myself, I pick the Rocket. Uh, the Rocket, you're sitting lower in the seat and uh, even with the gold wing in sport mode, this bike's going to eat it alive for lunch. And uh, not saying you can't push a gold wing, but why would you push a gold wing like that? Right? Bring them home safe. 
and um, you know so just wanted to give people uh, a good view of the versatility so it doesn't have the hard luggage points the Goldwing has uh, these have been a disappointment for me I think they could have been bigger and like I've shared in other videos these plastic tumblers here between the numbers right they break or they reset the combination and I'm basically screwed I have to use a TSA key right here to uh, lock and unlock the bags right so you know if somebody really wanted what was in the bags they could take a knife and just cut this open and steal away and uh, they do lock and unlock and come off the bike that's great so that's why I was saying like if it was just me and I was cutting GoPro film I would take the uh, Goldwing over the rocket but this is fine too right and um, Here's the great seating I talked about. I've had, uh, I've seen online a lot of people complain about the stock Goldwing seat. This thing's great. Look at that ledge there. Look how soft this is. I mean, Triumph hit a home run with this seat. And when you're out doing a long trip like we've done, you guys have seen on YouTube, you got your feet out here. This is three way adjustable. Just amazing, right? And here's the uh, 2488 CC motor. Um, just, you know, real pleasure to ride. I had fun riding in here just to sh shoot this short film. And, um, actually, uh, you could say I'm really excited about moto camping with the bike coming up real soon. Uh, I'm still practice rolling my two content, right? So I've got a few things to do this summer is work on losing weight and work on making good content for you guys to watch on Down the Road Productions. So, um... Isn't that great? And I think from a safety perspective, I'm going to give the front light setup to the uh, Rocket 3 GT versus the Goldwing. The Goldwing's got this cat eye thing going, and they are visible, but this dual look is very noticeable at night. And um, it's iconic, too. I, I can't say the look of the Goldwing at night from the front is, is as iconic as this, right? Um, this is just a great looking thing at night when both lights are on. And, uh, you know, both, both bikes have LEDs and everything. So if you want pure, raw performance and speed, you're going to take the Rocket over the Honda for sure, even in sport mode, right? And, um, you know, we feel blessed that we own both. We own uh, the Goldwing and this, you know, but uh, it's just, uh, you know, both bikes you can fall in love with as soon as you get on them, right? And uh, I just re-fell in love with this bike on that five mile ride I had to get here. So, um, there you go. Uh, uh, I can tell everyone, right, that uh, if you like to tour a lot and take trips on your motorcycles, but it's more often than not just you, this is the bike you want. Uh, it can do so much, uh, carry so much amazing comfort, and uh, it's just great. You know, I've got heated handle grips here, and um, all the TFT technology is finally working over a year into owning the bike. So, I mean, uh, I really love the wider tires too. The tire thing, uh, when it comes to which bike has the better tires, I'm going with the Rocket again because obviously they're wider. You know, there's more tread and rubber on the ground and you can see that here. These are some smokers. Look how wide it is. Uh, I still remember um, at 2021 Daytona Bike Week the number of people that talked to me about these tires wanting to know how much I paid to put them on the bike. I'm like, no, it came that way. And, uh, you know, this is just a tripod right here. So, um, carrying additional items on the bike, the Rocket wins that one too. Not just because of the torque, but this back ledge will hold, will hold 66 pounds. If you put that little cargo tray on the top of the Goldwing trunk, you're going to get 18 pounds of carrying capacity. And that, add, that goes away pretty quick. Uh, I mean, this bike will do it, right? So there you go. Um, talk too about uh, ergonomics. This bike has got good ergonomics, but the switch gear on the Honda feels better, right? They both have good ergonomics, but I give the ergonomics 
the switch gear battle to the Honda Goldwing. All right, people, I'm gonna get back on this because uh, if you look behind me, there you go. We got some kick butt weather and I wanna ride some more. Hey guys, thank you for watching the uh, Honda and Triumph uh, comparison video I made. Obviously your true performance stats are easily searchable on the uh, internet, interweb, so I just kept it to uh, things aren't, that aren't talked about in other videos around both bikes that I've seen. So um, after this outro here, uh, you'll see a compilation chart for both bikes that you can just hit pause on and read through. So if I had to pick a winner though between both, the bike that would go if I had to let go of one bike would be the Honda. Um, the Rocket 3 GT is just that nice, that cool. And um, I think it's more me than the, than the Honda Goldwing, right? But that being said, they're both class leading bikes and they're both excellent in their own right. So this is perspective, not the final word on the items I talked about. Guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of this channel. Uh, if you're a new subscriber, arrivederci. And um, keep burning down the road. Uh, we're all dealing with stuff right now and uh, just get right back up and go at it until the next episode We'll see everybody on down the road salute